we must urge our politicians to remember that if Africa is to work, this is the time. This is the time that we must give meaning to the words of the founding fathers of the African unity, Kwame Nukuruma, Julius Kambarage Nyerere, Ahmed Seko Ture, Modibo Keita, Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe of South Africa, Samora Moises Marshall, and I could go on and on. And the much younger ones, I've been very impressed by the manner in which some younger leaders in Africa are breaking the ceiling. I was very happy to hear, for example, that in Senegal, in the fight against COVID-19, the Senegalese are now producing testing kits, which are less than a dollar. And I'm told that the French are not happy. But the French must remember that the duty of the black man is not to make the French man happy. I'm also happy that in Madagascar, President Rajwa has already ensured that herbalists and other professionals in the pharmaceutical sectors have come up with a possible cure called COVID organic. And I'm happy that Equatorial Guinea has ordered the same. I'm told that Sierra Leone has ordered the same. And subject to verification, I'm told that even Tanzania has ordered the same. And some people are trying to poo-poo the efforts of Madagascar. Madagascar has started our duty and the duty of our professionals in the pharmaceutical sector is to ensure that we develop the research that has been undertaken so that going forward, we must also in our quest for unity ensure that we produce our own medicine. We must no longer rely on Roche, Johnson & Johnson, Novartis, and these American and European pharmaceutical organization and Indian and Chinese organizations in any event. The hubs that I use for making medicine is found in Africa. If they are not found in the equatorial forest of Congo, they are found in Kenya or in Cameroon or in Gabon or in Nigeria or in Ghana or in Zimbabwe or in South Africa or in Angola. So Africa has all the things that can make us work and move in the right direction.